talk about rips. Most important thing to do when you first rip, pull up, or, or, or muscle ups is to make sure you cover it. All right, that's your best option to heal it quickly is to cover it while you're out and about. Your hands are doing everything. So infection is your enemy here. Uh, if, you, if it gets infected or it's not properly taken care of, it can last one, two weeks, and it's just, it's, it's nobody, that's fun for nobody. Um, so, but a good uh, properly taken care of rip could definitely be healed in about two, three days. So um, make sure you do that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that real quick. The best way I found, I got Tony to help me out here. He's not ripped, I just barring his hand for this uh, exercise or this demo. Um, first thing to do is make sure you have the right tape, right? It's, it's real weird to get the knuckle taped because you're doing everything, um, everything bends. So grab some knuckle bandage, all right? Uh, we have these at the gym. So if you need one or you rip here, definitely take one and some antiseptic and some tape, okay? First thing, make sure you put the antiseptic on there, first aid ointment, and then you take the knuckle bandage and you're gonna put it, say for instance you ripped right there, right at the rip where it usually happens right there at the knuckle or un underneath the finger or right at the top of the finger. And you wrap the knuckle around the finger here, okay? He's gonna turn his hand over. We're gonna place the band-aid on there. Make sure that your hands are not sweaty and nice and clean so the bandage can stick as long as possible. Okay, then you're gonna grab the tape. You're gonna cut the tape in half Okay, and then peel it out, and then you're gonna anchor the bandage, because this is where it starts to fall off. Okay, so you anchor the bandage. The other thing you wanna make sure and do is after you anchor the bandage, you wanna cut it at the top of the finger, so not under the finger where it starts to peel off. Okay, once it's up, tape it around, and you got yourself a good bandage now. His hands were all sweaty, so <laughs> it, uh, it, it came off. But um, that's the best way that I've found to keep that taped and, and do work and, and it not hinder you from doing anything else throughout the day. So uh, make sure to take care of your guys' hands when you rip. Thanks, guys.